What's going on, everybody? Shadow back with another watcher around video about the new chaotic faction. Okay, today we're taking a look at the legendary fighter Lugaru. Okay, I'm loving this character model. Let's take a look at him. Let's, let's look at this sword right here. Look at this beefy weapon, man. Thing looks awesome. He did a great job with this guy. He looks super cool. Look like Deimos's beast uncle from war or something. <laughs> okay, anyway, let's get into it, man. Looking at his, um, let's look real quick at his hero details. Max level, okay, so he has a three, uh, three attack range. That's not bad. His attack is super high, guys. Super high attack right here. That's what I'm looking for. His cost is only 17, and he does come with the basic arena cost reduction. Uh, oh, actually, no. He comes with arena damage increase. It increases damage in the arena by 15%. Okay. And his cost is still only 17, which isn't bad at all. That is lovely. Okay, taking a look at his talent. Lethal Strike. Every 12 seconds, the hero consumes 20% of his current HP to trigger Lethal Strike one time. Dealing 180% damage. When HP is below 50%, the damage is increased by 60%, which would be a total of 200 and... What's that? I'm no mathematician here, guys. Don't be laughing at me. It's a total of 240% damage. Wow. So every 12 seconds... Wow, he can deal. Wow, this guy here is a monster, bro. His P attack has already bleed built into it, which we love to see that. Deals 100% damage to one enemy with a 15% chance of inflicting that bleed. At max skill up, she get an extra 20%, which would be dealing 120% damage to one enemy. Taking a look at his ultimate, it is a manual ultimate. It reduces the cooldown on Lethal Strike by 7 seconds. Is, keep in mind, a Lethal Strike is his talent, what we just read. By seven seconds. Additionally, lethal strike ignores thirty percent of defense of target, inflicting with bleed. Infl excuse me. Additionally, lethal strike ignores thirty percent of defense of targets inflicted with bleed. This effect lasts for fifteen seconds. So, like I said, guys, if you're if you're popping bleed on maybe the guild boss, this seems like the ultimate guild boss destroyer team right here. If you're popping bleed on that guild boss, this guy's gonna be doing extra damage by ignoring that thirty percent of defense. And that's going to last for 15 seconds. And at max skill ups, the lethal strike cooldown will be brought down by 2 seconds, which will be every 10 seconds. And the effect duration will last extra 5 seconds, which will be a total of 20. And that will bring his cost down to around uh, 700. So as soon as you deploy him, he's already going to be ready to pop a ult pretty much within seconds. So we love that. Taking a look at his other passives here. Every 1% of max HP loss increases attack speed by 1 up to 50%. So at 50% max HP, um, he will have an extra 50 attack speed. And if we're looking at the skill ups here, uh, that's going to be extra 30%. Excuse me, extra 30 attack speed. This right here, attack speed increase per stack plus 1. Attack speed increase cap plus 40. So instead of that, wow, this attack speed, wow. Another plus 40 cap. Wow, this guy here is just going to be dealing damage, bro. Love that. Looking at this next passive here, when deployed, the ducks 40% of the hero's current HP immediately and increases 4% attack permanently. Increases attack one time every 25 seconds after that up to 16%. Wow. So when you drop him on the field, he's going to lose 40% HP. He's going to gain an extra 4% attack permanently. And his attack would increase um, every 25 seconds, up to an extra 16%. And then you can right here with the max skill up, you're looking at attack per stack plus 2, cap 8%, attack increase per stack plus 2, attack increase per stack plus 2. And the trigger interval is minus 5 seconds, which will bring it down to 25 every 20 seconds. Excuse me. So, wow, this guy here is nothing but damage, man. Let's take a look at his awakenings. I feel like there's something juicy in here. When the HP drops below 50%, all attack will hit targets two times at once. Wow. Awakening 2 plus 5% attack. Awakening 3. My animosity is in effect. Lethal Strike ignores 20% of defense of targets with bleeds. So if you match that with its ultimate, that's going to be a total of 50% ignoring of defense. That is crazy. Penetration here is plus 8%. And the final one. Lethal Strike stuns the target for one second, so he can inflict a little bit of a stun. So overall, guys, this guy here is a monster. He is a monster. If you pulled him already, GG's, man. GG's. 
I hope to hopefully get him one day on my account, and I'm looking forward to possibly getting him. Let's take a look at the reviews real quick. Oh, yeah, look at it. Look at that. 4.9. This guy here is a monster. Gear Raid, Gear Raid, Ty, Guild Boss, 4.8. EXP Raid, Arena, Arena. This guy is a monster, guys. So, anyways, man, if you find the video helpful, you guys know what to do, man. Please drop a like on the channel. It helps me out a whole lot. Um, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'm trying to reach a 1,000 subscribers. Uh, it'll be my biggest honor if you guys can help me do that. Anyways, man, I'm, it's your boy Shadow. <laughs> It's your boy Consistent Shadow. And until the next video, guys, I'm out. Peace.